Hello guys, my name is Jared and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is the last day on the Booktubeathon 2017. I really had a great time during this week. I met a lot of people, I talked to a lot of people, and it was full of challenges and good experiences. It was also a rush, but it was great. If you've been watching during the Booktubeathon, I regularly put subtitles on each one of my videos because I have family who speaks Spanish, but this is the only one that I'm going to be translating unless you guys tell me otherwise but I'm going to be talking about my favorite book and about my grandma because it really connects. Since I've been working hard to accomplish each one of the video challenges I could not leave without doing this one. My book challenges were a little behind, I'm still two or three books behind, two and a half, I'm still reading the other one, I still have up until the end of this night, so we'll see. But this challenge I really really liked it. Uh, and it's made by the beautiful Ariel Bissette, whose link I'm going to be putting over here. And it's called Storybooks. Basically, this challenge is about to pick a book that has a lot of meaning to you and talk about it. Talk about an experience that you have with it. Talk about something that you enjoyed while reading. But I'm going to be talking about my favorite book, which is The Alchemist, The Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel by Michael Scott. It's my absolute favorite. Coming from Venezuela, which is a country where it's easier to find drugs on a street than buying a book from a bookstore, this has a lot of meaning to me. This was a gift from one of my grandmothers and she just thought it was going to be something that I was going to like and she couldn't be any more right. <laughs> buying a book in Venezuela is like a luxury. They're super, super overpriced and like you should have seen my bookshelves before this is like a blessing to me. This is beautiful to me. This book talks a lot about mythology. This book talks a lot about characters from the past, like real life characters. And it's such a fun read and it's all fantasy and it's interesting. Like half of the book you're just like going through the pages and at the same time you have Google open right next to you because you want to confirm that the things said on this book are actually right. When I finished this book for the first time, I was like, is this it? Because the ending was a little like open and I was like, is this the only book there is? No. That's when I started going on Google and I started researching about the name and about the series and I found out that all of this were part of the series. All of that. It was very hard to find them on Venezuela so I had to make my dad buy them on Amazon for me and have them ship from the United States to Venezuela and it was hectic one of them the magician it got lost during the shipping and we were not able to get the money back and I had to read it online but I loved it enough that I could just read it from a screen which is saying a lot and also that's when I found out that the last book had just come out and it was not even translated but I love this series so much that I was just like buy it and I'll read it it doesn't matter to me that it's in English I'll do my best so the Enchantress was the first book in English that I'd ever read and it was just it was really hard it took me about three months to finish it but it was such a fun experience it was all having like translator and the book and Google to just find out about the book but it was just I really loved it and that's what made me want to read more because I liked that experience I wanted to experience the same thing the same emotion about different books and I got to do it I've also made like a gazillion people read this book they can all comment below here and you'll see this little beautiful green book was the one who made me want to read even more and I could not thank my grandmother any more than I already have. She was the one who put me into this path. Of course, I've read books before, but this one was the first one that I was like, I need more. I want to get more of that experience about that imagination process that you get, about those picturing of worlds and magic and all that stuff. Thank you. Gracias, abuela. Gracias. Meaning that, to some degree, it was also my grandma who put me into the path to speak in English. Thank you! 
Gracias. I also want to thank Ariel for coming up with this challenge because it was really fun to me. It's my favorite of the whole week, actually. That one and the class one. I really like talking a lot. So that is it for today's video, guys. And it is the end of the Booktubeathon. But this channel will continue. I'm going to go back to my regular schedule, which I'm going to be posting two videos a week. Don't forget to like, comment below, and subscribe for sure. I will be participating in Booktubeathon 2018. And up until next time, guys, take care.